this is this is another testimony of if God is for you, who can be against you? Welcome, 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 welcome to another episode of 3D Boxing Podcast. It is good to be back, um, and we're all the way back. Um, it's really good to be back. Uh, we're going to do a Spence Ugas preview and prediction show. Uh, but before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. Uh, text, uh, 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media, as well as the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Uh, I'm not going to be at the Spence Ugas fight. I am going to be out of town, but I will write a little story on it. And we're going to do this preview show, and I'm leaving. I'm uh, going to Italy for five days. Um, um, but So I will not be there. Schedule conflict. Unfortunately, I had this thing planned for a while. Uh, but, um, let's get into... Um, Please also subscribe to Texas Boxing Team. All proceeds from Texas Boxing Team go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, and it's Autism Awareness Month. Okay, let's get into the fight. Um, we're getting uh, three quarters of the um, welterweight gold unified here. Um, I think this is a really interesting fight. Every I haven't found anyone who picks Spence. And it is what it is. Like, that's fine. I mean, I haven't picked anyone who picks against Spence. Everyone picks Spence, is what I'm trying to say. Everyone I've talked to has picked Spence. And that's fine. I, I, I kind of expect that. I did expect, you know, maybe find one or two people here and there to pick Ugas. I think Ugas is a very live dog. Um, Ugas just beat Manny Pacquiao handily, who beat Keith Thurman. Um, so, I... I <laughs> Ugas has a very controversial loss to Sean Porter, which most people think he wins, and Errol Spence has a controversial win over Sean Porter, which, you know, people are 50 on. Um, so I, I think this fight is is really close. I think it's a, I, I think, you know, Ugas is a lot better than people are giving him credit for. I think Spence is an A plus fighter. I think Ugas is an A fighter. I do think I do favor Spence. I do think Spence gets this done. Uh, but it is very, very close. I think we're looking at something like a majority of decision, a really, really close seven five decision where it's seven five on two cards and six six on the third. Like I think this is really close. Uh both guys have pop. Both guys I in theory could knock the other guy out, but I, I don't see that happening. I see this is definitely going the distance. Both guys love to go to the body. This is going to be a fun fight. This is going to be a really entertaining fight. Um, you know, I, I think Ugas definitely wins rounds. I think he, he pushes them. I, I, I think um, going into the championship rounds, this issue is still very much in doubt. Um, and I, I think Errol Spence is physically stronger. Um, I think both guys are, are, are a lot more athletic than we think. We don't really think of either guy as a mover, but both can move. Both guys can box from the outside. Both guys can bang on the inside. Both guys have good power. Both guys stick to the body. Uh, both guys you know, can fight out of the southpaw stance. Ugas does like to switch sometimes. Um, Spence is obviously the lefty. Um, but this is... I'm interested in seeing the pace of this fight, right? Like, I, I want to see what Ugas does. Does Ugas try to... Uh, Boxing from the outside, or did you try to bang with him on the inside? Um, Ugas is really, really talented. If you go to um, Texas Boxing Scene, look at my uh, interview with um, Derek James. He kind of talks about this too. Um, he's an old school boxer, you know, the way he can he can box you, you know, pure from the outside. Um, but he's also highly athletic and smart, and he can bang on the inside. He, and he can do the inside outside game. Yeah, you know, I, I did an interview with Abel Ramos, which you guys can check out. Um, I done interviews with other fighters, but they've all say the same thing. The best fighter they've ever fought is Ugas. Ugas is the best fighter they fought. Um, you know, the, he's smart, he's versatile. Um, he does a lot of things really well. Um, I, 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 I compare Ugas to Manu Ginobili. Um, I really do. Um, I think, um, yeah, I, I think Ugas is a lot like Ginobili uh, in the sense that um, you know you talk to. Any guy, right? Like we 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 mentioned Ginobili's name, Manny Ginobili, and we say he's good, but he's not great. He's not, he's not old, but you ask his peers, right? Like um, Kobe Bryant said that Ginobili was the hardest guy to guard. Um, Russell Westbrook said he hated guarding 
um, Ginobili. Uh, J.J. Reddick on on, uh, on his podcast had Kevin Durant on, so he never had a guard, you know, KD because of the size difference. But he had to guard Kobe and Ginobili, and that changed things. That's the the kind of air that he's in with his peers. Like that's the respect that the peers his peers have for him. I kind of feel that way. But against Ugas, kind of the fans, the observer thinks he's good, but he's not great. Well, I, I think. You know his peers think he's great, right? Like they put him there, and I, I think we're going to see that. Like I think we're going to see a nip and tuck fight here because I think everyone knows uh, Spence is great. I, I think people are, are are learning that Ugas is great too. I know Ugas had a rough start. Uh, maybe he's fighting at the wrong weight class at one point. He took a bunch of L's. Um, he took an L to Porter in a fight that he thought he's he, a lot of people thought he won, but he's right there. Um, I, I think again, I think he's going to be right there. I think he comes up just short. I think this is a really, really competitive fight. Um, and it's going to be fun. It's going to, I, I, you know, I, I, I don't know exactly because we don't know. Like with, with Spence went in a fight, Mikey he fought a completely different fight than we thought he was going to. Uh, Derek James always has a plan, so I'm going to. This is going to be interesting. I, I want to see the first couple of rounds unfold. I want to see how the fight starts. I want to see the pace and the tempo of the fight early on. Um, my, my guess is that you know Ugas is going to box him. And he's going to try to put some rounds in the bank, and then he's going to, you know, try to get to the body, try to slow him down. I, I don't know what Spence is going to do. I, I don't know what Spence is going to do. Um, but it, this really is kind of an evenish fight, and I, I don't think people are giving Ugas the, the, the respect that he deserves. Uh, you know, you go through Ugas's resume, and it's it's filled with guys who are just, you know, below. The highest level. You, know, you go through his resume, right? Since he moved up to forty-seven, um, he's got wins over um, Brian Perella, good win. Uh, Thomas Delorme, good win. Ray Robinson, good win. Uh, Sean Porter lost. Most people think he won. Omar Figueroa, good win. Um, Abel Ramos, good win. And then Manny Pacquiao, obviously the big win with, with Pacquiao. But you go over those names, there's a really, really, really Really good resume. The one thing I would be concerned about is some of these these, these fights, um, they're a bit too close. Um, the scorecard. You go back to the Mike Dallas Jr. fight where he fought Mike Dallas Jr. in Mississippi. Um, JD's wildest trainer was a judge in that fight. He had 67-66 Ugas. N none of the other two judges even gave um, Ugas a round because he certainly didn't win any. Um, so that, that, was, that was interesting. And then he ended up getting him out in the seventh. Uh, well, after the seven, <clears throat> um, he quit on the stool, I believe. Um, I was at that fight. Um, and you have, uh, you know, the Pacquiao fight, 115, 113, 116, 112. It's a little close for my liking. Um, you know, the figure all fight, obviously he dominated the whole fight and then, um, and he lost the point. Um, the Sean Porter fight, you know, the judges didn't love him. Um, Zachary Young with the horrific 117-111 scorecard, which is just, you know, horrific. Um, you know, there's some bad cards. He's he's not, like I said, um, and then some of his losses, too, are kind of questionable. Pat Russell, 79-73, he won one round with Amir Imam. That doesn't sound right. But he's got some really questionable scorecards um, that don't go in his favor. I, I don't know what it is, but the, the, the judges... Seem not to love his style. And I, I think that's going to be interesting to see how they score this fight. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Um, do you think Ugas is much of a chance? Do you think Spence is going to wash him? Um, leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Three box of all forms of uh, social media. Also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene. Um, on YouTube, all proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. Um, so please like, share, and subscribe. Like, share, and subscribe. Um, it is April 15th, 2022, um, from Texas to the world. Thank you. And God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3 Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.